For this video, we're going to take a quick look at Twitter. Twitter is commonly described as a micro-blogging site. It allows you to post short news feeds or tweets, which are posted to the home pages of anyone who's following you. The benefit of this is to keep a large number of people informed of updates regarding yourself, your business services or latest news. The first key step in setting up your online Twitter profile is to create a new account on the site and claim your brand name. If you're setting up a business profile, then you'd like to make sure that you get your business name if it's available. This is all about protecting your branding. It'll also be included in search engine results. So this is our company profile for eBlueprint. As you can see, we've customized the profile with a company logo and a link to our website. You can also customize the background of your Twitter page to match the style of your branding or your website colors. And finally, once you've set up your company profile, it's time to get yourself some followers. Followers are the people who subscribe to your tweets. If you're new to this, start by looking for friends and colleagues and adding them to your network. Then take a look in their networks and try to expand your list. Look for your competitors and see who's following them. So checking out your competitors is also a good way to see what kind of things they're posting about and to see what kind of conversations they're having with their customers and clients. So let's take a look at Twitter a bit closer. This is the news feed or the timeline. And this is where you can post your latest tweets and where you can also view the latest posts for everyone else who's following your page or for whose page you're following. And it's a great way to have conversations with the people who's following you. Um, there's good examples out there of companies who use Twitter as a tool to engage with customers like a customer service help desk or for customers to provide feedback. So we've just launched a new site for one of our clients so I might treat this. Like that. Another great feature is this mentions. It allows you to see where you've been mentioned in other tweets. It's a great feature if you're concerned about reputation management. It also gives you the opportunity to respond to your critics. You can also separate your followers into groups so that you can tweet different things to your chosen groups. Here in lists you have the opportunity to set up and sort your followers into specific chosen groups so that you can tweet separately to friends and colleagues for instance. You can retweet posts that others have done if you want to generate conversations or discussions off the back of other things. You also need to publicise your Twitter presence. Have a link on your own website and on your email signature. Put it on your business cards. This will get you more followers as you go along. There are other applications you can incorporate into your social media campaign that allows you to post more content. You can set up a TwitPic account to post images along with your tweets. With Twitter, as it's a micro-blogging site, you only have space to post 140 characters to each tweet. So if I want to post a link to a long URL, I can use a URL shortener, a bit like bit.ly, to condense the URL and still fit in my message around it. Twitter does have a URL shortener built in, but that bit.ly tool may come in handy later on when using things like Facebook. One other application I'll quickly run through briefly is TweetDeck. This is a great way of looking after a lot of your social media profiles in one place without constantly logging in and out of different sites. We have ours currently linked to LinkedIn and Twitter, and these columns are fully customizable. Again, there you have your mentions from Twitter. And what I'm going to do now is quickly create a new column within this for our Facebook profile. So again, I could sort this for different groups if I wanted to keep uh, colleagues or customers separate. But for this one, I'll just select everyone. And here we go. It appears on the end. And if I like, I can move this around. And order these however I like. You can customize your columns to whatever you like. Facebook groups, friends, this allows you to target your updates and also keep on top of your news feeds. You can also send messages to each one up here. With Twitter selected you do have your 140 character limit but if I deselect Twitter then I can post to Facebook and LinkedIn profiles 
without any character limits. You can now get TweetDeck in applications now directly for your iPhone and Android, so you can take it with you wherever you go. Remember, the key to any successful social media campaign is to post updates of interest. No one will follow you if all you post are in person on self-promotions or marketing material. People want updates, topics that they find particularly interesting. Twitter and all other social media sites are a great way of creating a good persona for your company. For more information on social media and what we can do, check out our website www.eblueprint.co.uk